Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 5 of the crochet along peacock tail bag designed by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. For this video I'm using Linen Soft Yarn by Schepius. This is the same yarn that comes in the kits that goes with this crochet along in combination with a 3mm crochet hook. In this video I'd like to show you how to do the back of the bag, so that's this side. If in a separate video I'll be showing you how to do the front side of the bag with all the details. So in this video I'll be showing you part 5 of the back side of the bag. Take you step by step through the rows making up part 5 and especially paying attention to stitch count. I hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. When you've completed the front and back of the bag, check for gauge that they should be approximately the same size. A little bit difference isn't a problem, you can correct that with blocking. But as such you want your two parts to be approximately the same size. What you should also check for is that your size at this point should be, if you use the linen soft yarn, should be about 29 centimeters at its widest point here. If so, you're perfect. If there's a big difference between your two sides, either change a hook size or um, see if you can catch that with blocking your pieces. Because this hasn't been blocked yet, you can see it's still curling inward. So once blocked, this will also straighten out. So check your gauge and check that your two sides are the same size. Row 26. This row is the first row of where we're not going to be starting on the outer um, edge of our bag, but we're going to be starting a number of stitches inward. At this point it may be a good idea to just mark your first and your last stitch on your bag. You're um, going to need these stitches later on. We're not going to be working in them now, but if you mark them it'll be easier to find them later and then you don't accidentally miss when you're counting stitches. So this is the first stitch, this is my last stitch. We're going to attach our yarn to our work with a slip stitch and we're going to start in stitch number 19 from the end. So this is the first stitch that I've marked here. Make a count, this is number 19. I'm going to start in there, in that stitch, with a slip stitch. So attach your yarn using a slip stitch, like so. Chain one. There you go. And now we're going to work five single crochets on the next stitches. That's one. Two, three, four, five single crochets. Now we're starting our repeat unit. Start the repeat unit by making a half double on the next two stitches. And now we're doing an increase. So in the stitch after this, you're going to make two half doubles. It's so one and two. We continue the repeat unit by working 13 half doubles. So that's quite a stretch. And I'm still I'm working over my thread from the beginning, so I'm taking it with me, then I don't have to work it in later. If these are three half doubles, continue until you've worked 13, 4, 5, 5. Just done the repeat five times. I've ended here with 13 half doubles. I'm going to work a few more stitches. Work two half doubles on the next stitches. One and two. Now we're going to work an increase. So in the stitch after this, we're going to work two half doubles in the next. There you go. 
work four half doubles and then again going to work a few single crochets. One, two, three, four half doubles, and now we work five single crochets. So one, two, three. and five. To finish this round you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and you're done. You can cut your yarn and open up. And you're going to work away this yarn tail. Row 27. You're going to do the same as we did in the first row of this part. And to start in the third stitch after the chain one. You see here I've got the slip stitch and the chain one. And you've got one, two, three stitches. So in this third stitch, we're going to attach our yarn with a slip stitch. Again, chain one. There you go. And now we're going to work five single crochets on the next stitches. And I'm again going to take the thread with me and work over it. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five single crochets. Work 86 half doubles. It's a whole lot, so it'll bring you almost to the other side. And then you still need to do a few more single crochets. So work 86 half doubles. That's one on, on every stitch. You're not doing an increase in this round. So a half double on 86 stitches. After 86 stitches, you still have a few more stitches to go. A checkpoint for you, that last half double is worked in the second of your last increase from your previous round. You see that last one is in that second stitch of the increase. Still need to do a few more stitches. Going to work single crochets on the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four single crochets, slip stitch into the next stitch, there you go, and then you're finished for this round. I'm going to cut my yarn and open up. And that completes this round. Row 28, again a new color yarn. And we're again going to start in the third stitch after the chain one from the previous round. So here's the slip stitch and the chain one, and you have one, two, three. You want to go into that third stitch. You can pick up your yarn with a slip stitch. Chain one. And then work a single crochet on the next three stitches. One, two, three stitches. Now we're ready to start the half doubles again. Go to work 14 half doubles. This is not part of your repeat unit yet. That's, this is still before. We're going to work 14 half doubles. That's two. Three and then the last one, number fourteen. There we go. 
and I worked 14 half doubles. Now we're ready to start the repeat unit, which starts with one half double, then an increase, so you're working two half doubles, it's one and two in the same stitch, and now 15 half doubles. One, two, three, thirteen. This is number fourteen, and you go fifteen. There you go. So since the increase, I've now worked fifteen half doubles, and that's your repeat unit. So now you're going to do this four times. I've just done once. Need to do three more. So half double, the, uh, there it is, the half double, the increase, and then 15 half doubles. So do this three more times. You've done your repeat four times, you need to work a few more stitches. You need to work two more single crochets. One, two, three. Two single crochets, slip stitch into the next stitch, and again cut your yarn, open up, and work away these last tails. We're at 29, we're again going to start with a new color yarn, and we're again going to start in the third stitch after the chain one of the previous row. So here's your chain one, then one, two, three. You're going to start in that third stitch. Attach your yarn with a slip stitch. Chain one, chain one, and work seven single crochets. I'm taking the thread with me, working over it hence working it away. This is number three, you need to work seven, four, five, six, and seven. Seven single crochets. Now we need to work seventy half doubles. No increase creases in this round, so you're going to work seventy half doubles and after you've worked those 70 half doubles you're again going to work seven single crochets and then end this round again with a slip stitch so it's very similar to the rounds you've done before so this time I'm not going to show you the end I'm going to work 70 of these half doubles you've done that, you work seven single crochets and then finish by working a slip stitch on your last, on your next stitch and that slip stitch is then your last stitch. Continue, complete this round, S seven single crochets, 70 half doubles, then again seven single crochets and a slip stitch. Row 30, we're again going to start with a slip stitch and this time we're starting in the 11th stitch after the chain 1. So here's that chain 1, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is stitch number 11. I'm going to attach there with a slip stitch. Chain 1. Now work six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's six single crochets. And now we work 40 
nine half doubles. One, two, and those half doubles you work in exactly the same way as before, in the sense that we're working forty nine in this case half doubles, and then again a few single crochets and then a slip stitch. This time it's 49 half doubles and then four single crochets and a slip stitch for this round. Previous round was seven single crochets at the end, this time it's four. So again do exactly the same as the previous round. You've worked single crochets then work 49 half doubles You've done that again, work four single crochets and then a slip stitch. Row 31, the same pattern as before. We're going to start this time in the fifth stitch after the chain one. So here's your chain one, then one, two, three, four, five, your fifth stitch. Attach with a slip stitch. Chain one, and now we work five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five single crochets, and then half doubles, forty one in total. No increases in this round, you're just working 41 half doubles. And when you've worked the 41, you still need to do a few single crochets, six in this case, and then end again with a slip stitch on the next stitch. So the pattern um, feel is the same, but the um, number of stitches are different between the rounds. So you're going to work 41 of these half doubles, then work three single crochets and finish off with a slip stitch in the last stitch. Row 32, going to start in the fourth stitch after the chain one, so that's a chain one, then that is one, two, three, four, your fourth stitch, attach this slip stitch. There we go. Chain one. And this time we're only going to work single crochets. We're going to work 41 single crochets. And after that, you finish by making a slip stitch into the next stitch. So for this round, reasonably easy and relaxing round, work 41 single crochets and finish with a slip stitch on the next stitch. Row 33. This is the last row of the bag before we start connecting it together, the front and the back part. I, for this round I have a slip knot on my hook. Very important. And now we're going to start in the first stitch of row 25. So this is the stitch that I marked here with a stitch marker. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working along the edge all on this edge here also and then continuing on the other side. So we're making a, um, a band that we're going to use to connect the, the two halves together. Start with a standing half double crochet in the first stitch here. Now I have this stitch marker in there and I'm just going to remove that after I've attached my yarn here. So in that stitch start with a standing half double crochet in that very first stitch. What you're now going to do is you're going to make 146 stitches in the next stitches. 
So it's basically one on every stitch. You're making a half double. And you want to especially check that you have the same number of stitches on this row, row 33 as you have on the front part, row 33. And if there's, um, if you see, oh, I don't have the same number of stitches, you could use this as a point to um, change your stitches or do that also on the next round when we start joining that you work um, stitches together or you make an increase. We're going to work a half double on every stitch. And I just want to show you how to I may want to split a little bit there. just want to show you how to um, deal with, uh, with these bits here. So you're working a half double on every stitch. And also one thing that's very important, at the end of this row, do not cut your yarn. And leave your yarn attached. So when you've done the front, you do cut your yarn, but here on the back, you do not cut your yarn. So almost to this point. next stitch contains a slip stitch and that chain one. That's where we, how we started that row. So I'm going to work a half double in the stitch that already contains the slip stitch. I'm going to skip the chain one and go to the single crochet that's next to it. I'm going to work a half double on there. And then also a half double on the next stitch. Moving on, you have here the next stitch contains your slip stitch again. So you work a half double in there next to that slip stitch, skipping the chain one, and on the single crochet, work a half double again. And also on the next. You can see how you're building this edge here. Again, the next stitch contains a slip stitch, so next to that slip stitch, work your half double, and skipping the chain one on the single crochet. Make sure you get both loops actually. Work your half double. and again single crochet sorry a half double next to that slip stitch and then move on to your first single crochet again so you're not working anything on the chain ones but you're working in the single crochet you're working the half double and now it's a slightly longer stretch but here you're going here you're going to do everything exactly the same. So you're working half doubles next to the slip stitch you work a half double and then on those single crochets. You're going to continue and then I'll see you again at this point because I'll just want to show you how to deal with um, coming back down. So continue, work this edge and I'll see you for the other side. I'm almost well, I've, I've reached the point where my bag is decreasing again. You can see I've now done this entire bit here, everything here coming up. And now you're on this side here. Now we're going to come down. I've got here the last single crochet and then there's a stitch that contains the slip stitch. So working a half double on that last single crochet. And now I'm going to work in the stitch that contains the slip stitch. I'm going to work next to the slip stitch. So in that stitch, next to it, and I'm going to work over my purple thread here. I'm going to take it with me, secure it to my work. I can just use that thread to just make that edge nice there. And now again, Single crochet on the single crochets, work a half double and two, three, and 
then the next stitch is again that slip stitch there. I'm just going to pull it closed and then next to it again next to it work a half double and I'm going to use the thread to just ease that stitch a little bit into shape. Now I'm going to come further down here and work more half doubles, one on every stitch. And this way you're going to come all the way down and work until you get to the last stitch on this edge. And that's going to be the stitch that's marked with the stitch marker. So you're going to come all the way down and continue until you get to this last stitch here. And at that point you can also remove that last stitch marker. Let's see I've got to show you once more. Yes here one more single crochet. Taking the threads with me to the back. Now I'm going to come down and work next to the slip stitch. I'm going to work a half double. Like so. So continue on your edge down until you get to the last stitch. When you've worked your last um, half double, don't cut your yarn. When you've completed the front and back side of your work, you're ready for next week when we're going to be joining our bag. At this point you want to check that they are the same size and you also maybe a good idea to actually block them because if you look very closely and if I put them exactly on top of one another you'll see that my front is just ever so slightly smaller than my back side. Now this isn't a crisis, this I can catch with blocking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the front and the back to the same size. That'll also just get rid of a bit of this um, this curl that I have here, so I'll also flatten that out. And then we're ready for next week when we're going to be joining these two sides together and actually finishing the bag.